Hey collective, welcome, welcome guys. Uh, so I wanted to do a read today about ties to the past. I just kept feeling this in my mind as feeling a lot of transitional energies today, sensing a lot of uh, past, a lot of future, a lot of the in-between that goes with it. I Right now I'm feeling past, past. I keep getting past and I get pulled to these three decks in my card. So I feel like there's messages that need to come through and I do not feel like they are specific to any one zodiac sign, which is why I'm doing this as, as a read for the collective. I feel like this is going to apply to a lot of people's situations. Uh, this, is, this is something that needs to come out. It's a message that the collective needs to hear. So we got a few decks of cards uh, that we're going to be working with. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get started with the energy deck. That's going to be the first one that I work with today because it stands out first above all the others. So we'll get shuffling and we'll see what is this message? What is this thing from the past that is maybe bothering you? <laughs> maybe it's a someone from the past that's bothering you. There's something, there's something about the past that you need to hear. And that one wanted to pop out these guys as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we have woman holding a coin. So this represents some sort of a financial situation, a financial event that definitely involves a woman. This could be speaking to you, maybe building your own wealth. This could also just be speaking to a woman in your life who had an impact on your financial situation. And I have man holding a coin too. Oh, so, and this might be, this might be your other person. This might be what we're talking about. Uh, two people who, who maybe came together to build a wealth. It, this could also be two people moving apart from each other and having to divide the wealth as well and each having an impact on each other's financial situation. Ooh, we have deceit as well. So there might have been a deceit involving money. Okay, I get pulled, I get pulled to my Wisdom Oracle deck now. I feel like I need to grab some cards from here. I need to let the universe and spirit pick some of these guys too. I wonder what this deceit is. It seems to involve money though and finances. We do have happy, happy though. So I feel like happy, happy is speaking to a, a change. So there might be a change here in this situation. Maybe somebody uh, was deceitful in this financial situation and their deceit was found out and, and maybe they paid the price for it. And this is what the change is. Somebody lost and somebody gained from this deceit. We also have Treasure Island and Treasure Island is about manifesting. It's this, this as, as above, so below. So being able to sort of uh, look within and see what it is that you want. And you know what, this might tie into it too. This might tie into this deceit and maybe somebody, maybe somebody was dishonest. Maybe somebody was pretending about what they had or didn't have. They were trying to hide something. Perhaps it had to be found out and not for you. Interesting. This not for you card it definitely represents a situation in which uh, something doesn't work out the way you want it to, but everything happens for a reason. So it takes you on a different path. It is tying into this deceit and whatever this is, uh, being able to uh, uncover this deceit and then perhaps move away from whatever the situation was that it wound up working out better for you in the long run, whatever it was. I uh, know I get pulled to the rider deck. So I feel like we need to use the rider deck now to figure out more about this situation. I want to know more about this deceit, this man, this woman holding a coin. What was this financial situation that went on? We got that guy that wants to pop out. So that is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands does come with uh, a high energy. He can also represent moving uh, and moving on. He's part of a transition. He's part of a moving. He's tied to this knot for you and whatever this was and having to, having to change directions, having to change paths. And we have temperance in reverse. Temperance represents that balance, being able to find that balance between emotion and logic and having this balance uh, blocked. This is tied into the deceit, processing the feelings from the deceit and from the not for you, the emotions that go with something like this. It winds up feeling really unfair because I get the distinct impression from the cards that somebody was trying to take advantage of somebody else and it is financially. So I'm not sure if, if there was some sort of a romance involved within that because I sense manipulation here and somebody trying to get that deceit, trying to, trying to take what was not theirs. And I also have, I have the six of pentacles. So the six of pentacles can represent abundance. It can represent generosity. I see, I see breadcrumbs in it. Like they're handing out little breadcrumbs. Like 
this is part of the deceit. Part of this deceit is uh, this illusion that they had a lot to give by handing out little bits at a time, but they did it in a way that made them look like they had lots. And uh, maybe it was in a way to encourage you to give back and they took more than they gave. And that was part of their deceit as well, because they actually in reality did not have a lot to give. You were the one with a lot to give and they were trying to take for themselves. We have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords does represent heartbreak. It can represent a third party situation as well, like infidelity. But it's definitely speaking to the emotions that went along with uh, this deceit, that went along with this not for you, this temperance card in reverse as well. And being able to try and process the heartache that comes from when somebody's lying to you uh, like they are in this situation. The Queen of Pentacles, interesting. So this Queen of Pentacles, uh, she definitely represents that wealth. She represents that success. I look at her and I see like growing. The way that she holds this pentacle, it's like she was growing for her future nest egg. Nest egg is what comes to my mind. This person wanted to take your nest egg. They were gonna use manipulation. They were gonna use deceit and possibly even uh, a romance or sexuality to try and take this thing from you that you had worked so hard for. They did it in a, in a very sneaky way. It was in a way that they try to pretend that they didn't need it to encourage you to try and give it up. We have the moon card. The moon card can represent things that are still unknown, secrets. Uh, so definitely tying into that deceit card, secrets that had to be found out. And this might also tie into why, trying to figure out why somebody did this, trying to find that closure. And that might be part of this read today and why I felt the need uh, to bring it forward, why spirit kept kept bringing this this need on me that we had to talk about the past in this read is maybe there's no clarity for you. I mean, you're just wondering why this person did what they did. But it's definitely speaking to those secrets. That's the word that I see when I look at it, secrets. Secrets that had to be uncovered. And it's about somebody else. It's somebody else's secrets, things that they were trying to hide. This is not about you. This is about somebody else's secrets. And it's the one who is who is preying on the nest egg, the one who is preying on the money. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Cups usually represents those new beginnings, emotional new beginnings. It can represent creativity as well, a new creative idea, but it is in reverse, so it's being it's being blocked. And it's because of what was going on here with the money situation. It's like now, now opportunities that you might have had before, they're not available to you because now you're having to rebuild after this person came into your life and did some damage. I feel it tied to this treasure island card. Why is it tied to the treasure island card? It's like this creative manifestation, trying to trying to manifest this in your life, trying to find a creative way to move forward, a creative way to rebuild, trying to trying to figure out how how you're going to get back this nest egg if some of it was lost, how you're going to move on. So I have the Five of Cups in reverse too. So the Five of Cups to me is almost always a warning not to get stuck in negative emotions so much so that you have trouble finding clarity. So in reverse, uh, we're, we are having trouble moving on. We're having trouble moving past these emotions, trying to figure out why somebody did this to you. This is, I keep getting the word why in my mind. This is what's coming from the cards. Why? Why? And it... And then I get pulled back to this happy, happy. They made you feel happy. That was part of their manipulation was preying on your emotions as well and trying to make you feel uh trying to make you feel like they're treating you like a queen like a princess like a, you know what i'm saying like trying to build you up so that you think like this is the perfect relationship this is the perfect person they're very attentive uh they want nothing but the best for you but meanwhile it was it was fake it was an illusion it was just pretend to be able to get to money the king of cups uh so the king of cups he can represent somebody who's very emotional uh, and emotional manipulation is what comes into my mind and i see the word illusion with him too so this is part of it too this is part of the pretending this is part of preying on your heart uh preying on preying on your emotions preying on this this love this idea of of love and trying to trying to grow this illusion that there was this romantic relationship. It was deep and it was real. Uh, it was for you. It definitely was for you. But for, for this other person, 
there was something else in mind. There was this moon card. There was this secret. There was this deceit. It was about money. They saw that you had money. They wanted money. And I have the tower card. So the tower card, it represents that ending. It represents this secret being revealed. It represents uh, ultimately what happened with this person. When that big event came, when you realized what they were all about, if, if they were if they were able to take your money to take this nest egg and then leaving it disappearing or whatever it was that they did this is what your tower card is representing in the read it's representing all the emotions that went along with this it was it was devastating because it wasn't what you thought it was uh, they they tricked you into thinking this was love they tricked you into thinking that this was a deep connection and this is what you felt and you thought it was and you believed in it. And so when they did what they did, it was definitely devastating for you. It was like pulling the rug out from under you. I have the Wheel of Fortune card though. And the Wheel of Fortune card, it does represent your fortunes changing for the better. It's tied, it's tied to the not for you card, guys. There is something better coming. This it's, this is this everything happens for a reason this whatever this was with this person that didn't work out is going to wind up taking you to something better it's going to wind up making you wiser in the end and it's going to lead you to something else i want to find out more about this mm. and the seven of swords in reverse so that was lies lies that were uncovered untruths that you had to figure out for yourself that had to come about and I have the world card as well in reverse. So the world card, it, it usually represents uh, things that you've worked very hard for finally coming to fruition. So you're like rewards that you've earned from the universe through, through going through rough times and being able to process them. It is in reverse. Uh, I don't feel it's directed at you. This, this is a different energy that comes along with this world card. This is this other person. Is this, this other person about to get their just desserts is the distinct impression that I get from this card. Uh, sort of like a what goes around comes around. So I don't know if they had another target after you. Or if there is a way uh, that you are, are fighting whatever that they, they did to you. But they're about to get their just desserts for whatever this is. This is about to uh, change they're about to see a negative impact of this. I'll pull a couple more cards here. So we have the King of Pentacles. So again, just like the Queen, uh, he's all about growth. He's all about wealth. He's all about uh, he's all about success. And then I get a distinct impression from this King of Pentacles is this is referring to this person. And this is referring to where they're sitting at right now. And for some, it's your wealth that they've taken, that they are now enjoying, which I have the distinct impression is going to be short-lived. For others, I see the word illusion. It comes into my mind. This person is still putting on this illusion of wealth. They're just taking their show on the road. So now that you found out, they might be doing this with somebody else. And, and this might be where their wheel of fortune is about to change, where they're getting this world card, where it comes in. They might have picked the wrong target this coming time. So we have the chariot card in reverse. The chariot card represents that, that perseverance, that positive forward movement. This is in referring to this king of pentacles and who this person is, that they're still up to their old tricks. They're not changing. They're not moving forward. They're not moving on. And I have the devil card. They're toxic. Whoever this person is, whichever, it, it's like they jump from life to life being toxic and draining people, whatever this is. And, and it's the same thing. It's the same game every time because I get pulled back to that happy, happy. So they make somebody feel like they are absolutely loved, like they are special. They're the center of the universe. They, they dish out this happy, happy, and then they go in for the kill to take the money and they piss off. I have the page of wands in reverse as well as two. So this page of wands, he usually represents a uh, good news on the way. To me, he also represents this person using sexuality to try and get what they want. But I have the distinct impression from the cards that 
this person is about to meet their match or they've picked the wrong person. So whether, whether you're able to fight back in some way, shape or form, that's going to turn the tables or whether they've moved on to another victim and that person is going to uh, make them pay for what they're doing, their world is about to change. And maybe that's why it's coming forward here is, is this justice so that you know that there's going to be some sort of justice coming about in this situation. I also have the lover's card. So it's about romance, that, that sexuality, preying on that sexuality, using it to get what they want, not just with you, but with other people as well. And then the five of wands, which represents conflict, but it's in reverse. Mm, honeymoon, honeymoon period, honeymoon period. Somebody, somebody new. It's like they moved on, they have a new lover, they're going through the honeymoon period. So maybe this new person hasn't found out exactly what this is yet. Uh, they will though, they will. And that's when this King of Pentacles is messed with the wrong person, guys. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So the Ace of Pentacles can represent that new beginning financially, because this is what they're looking for, right? They're looking for a new victim to prey on. And they think they found it. They think they found it because the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse it means that's not it's not what they think it is they think they've got another one in the bag but they actually have another thing coming so i don't know if if you're keeping tabs if you're able to know what's going on in this person's life but definitely this this one that they have moved on to they've bit off more than they can chew they've messed with the wrong person this time and they will find that out it's just a matter of time before they find it out Alrighty guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a absolutely great rest of your day. Take care.